we can drink all the water in the world, which a lot of people are drinking plenty of water, but they're not getting hydrated. Basically, roughly 95% of us on the planet are dealing with some form of dehydration. And we must ask ourselves, why are so many people dealing with dehydration? And the reason is, is back to, we have not been treating water with love and respect. We have not been copying nature's way. It wasn't only the chemicals being dumped into, into our rivers, lakes, and streams. Uh, it was how we, we have been working with water. Years ago, we had buckets we would lower down in the well, and we would, we would carry the water into our homes. And then we discovered pumps, and we discovered pipes and we simplified how we could get water from point A to point B. Yet we never thought about copying nature's way and the importance of copying nature's way to get the water from point A to point B. We just thought of how much easier it would be to pump it and to pump it through straight lines and have it come out our tap. Some of us, we buy really good filters, and we say, oh, well, I have a great reverse osmosis, or I have a distiller, and so my water is clean and pure and healthy. And the fact of it is, no, that's not the case. You've only removed the physical contaminants from the water. You have overlooked the importance of removing the vibrational contaminants from the water. Because water is a liquid crystal. One molecule of water carries up to 440,000 bits of inf information, frequency. So when we put these chemicals in it, and we treat it the way we do, just because you filter out the phys physical contaminants in the water, you're not removing the vibrational contaminants. So when we drink this water, our body still responds as though we are receiving the chemicals. And the majority of even all bottled water is the same way. It's uh, water that's been run through a reverse osmosis or distillation, and it's put into a plastic bottle. It's sitting stagnant. But water has more an ability, much more of an ability to not just hydrate and keep our physical body healthy, it has ability to create health in, in many of our other bodies that we're not seeing and feeling. Part of the vortexing energy and the vortexing of water plays a, an important role in this aspect of hydration. And we think about it, we're roughly 75% water, the planet's roughly 75% water. We have to ask ourselves, why are we putting water kinda on the back burner, you could say, not of much high importance in our life, when we live on a water planet and we're, we're, we're water beings. So one thing I've come to clearly understand over the years of working with the vortex magnetized water, and that is the underlying pattern that permeates our universe is the spiral or the vortex. It's in our weather patterns, it's in the cosmos, it's in our galaxies, our DNA is spiraling, the blood in our veins is spiraling through our veins. Our heart is a basically a toroidal field generator, which is a dual vortex. It, it's just the, the spiral of the vortex is in, it's in everything. It's all around us. And in water, we're able to see this we're actually able to see these energies working and interplay together. This is where the VME, or the Vortex Magnetic Energizer, is so important because 
we are bringing that water back to its pristine state by putting it into a free-flowing centripetal interwinding vortex. The first important thing it does, it erases those vibrational contaminants. Second thing the vortex does, it brings oxygen back into the water. This is why you see in rivers and streams and oceans too, you're, the water is constantly doing this spiral, this spin, this dance of life. It's when it is happy, it's healthy, it's high in zeta potential, high in life force energy. So when we have the VME, we can take bottled water that's been sitting stagnant, or tap water that's coming out of our tap, and we can take the VME, we can fill it up, we can vortex it four times, and we now change all of these properties of oxygen levels. ORP going lower, electron counts going up, pH coming more back into balance. When we vortex and magnetize water, we start bringing these properties back into water to where we need to drink a half of what we've been drinking and sometimes even less to get the same results of hydrating our bodies. One of the unique things about the VME product uh, is that it is portable. It's small. You can put it in your purse or carry pouch. You can take it anywhere with you. Uh, you can, so if you're traveling, yeah, easy, easy to energize your water wherever you go. As we clean up our internal waters in our bodies and we start honoring our bodies more and honoring the water we put in our bodies, that's automatically going to have an impact on everything outside of us. Our environment, our relationships with everything and everyone. And I know this has happened to me uh, for many years as a fisherman. I was quite unconscious about what I was doing. And when I quit that world and got into the water world and started drinking this water, it clearly was a big part of changing me to become a better person and a more compassionate, uh, caring person. So my greater mission is to basically help people, again, to reconnect to the spirit of water, seeing it as their very best friend or the mother of all life, which it really is.